Good morning guys, it is Irish Garrett here back with another video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for future automotive content. Now before anything else, let's get into it. 10 things I... So guys, the first thing I absolutely love about this car is the comfort. It has these seats that give you support, but it doesn't break your back like bucket seats or that. I could I could ride this car for 15 hours straight and be still comfortable. Even though it's low to the ground and the cabin's kind of small, the seats are like sitting on a couch at home. And also the seats are electric, so you can adjust them easily without having probably previous generations having manual seats. I mean, it'd be a perfect, this with a V8, either the ZL1 or the SS, I think would be like a perfect rally car in my opinion the second thing I have to love about this car guys and it's probably one of my most favorite features is at night time the interior LED lighting now it's obviously daytime right now so you're not gonna see it well but I'm gonna put a clip right now showing you the LEDs at night time and you can choose between probably over 20 colors Okay, and you can see the cabin right here. Like the S-Class, it does have LED lights that glow up. I don't know if the S-Class has this feature, but I'm gonna show you guys. But look how, is that not the coolest thing ever? It's like a spaceship. So, okay, so this is the main menu here. You click right into lighting, then you hit light strip color. And look at all the different colors it gives you. Let's try blue. The lights automatically turn to blue. Green. The lights automatically turn to green. But I think red is the most significant one. I don't know. It's just my favorite. And it even, if you look down to the cup holder there, it even has it. So, yeah. So, the fourth thing I absolutely love about this car has to be the looks. It is, in my opinion, the best looking Camaro ever made in regards to modern Camaro, say from 2000 up to 2017. The, how aggressive this car looks on the front end is just beyond me. Like the previous generation, it kind of had a flat end in the front. It looked good, don't get me wrong, but this car just, it screams aggression. The lines on the side of the car, the back now this car does have the Oris package so it does kind of kick off the car a bit but in my opinion not this specific model just a generation has to be the best looking and it make in my I know it's biased of me to say this but I think it makes a Ford Mustang look like shit and the Ford Mustang does have a really good looking rear end compared to this but the front doesn't compare especially with the new 2018 Ford Mustang coming out looks like kind of a whale I don't know why they keep repeating this the same thing happened in I think it was the 70s where they did this kind of bloated Ford Mustang anyway that is the fourth thing I love about this car and if you're if you're wondering why I'm in just a random parking lot people don't know how to drive in California so I kind of like try to protect myself and yeah that's why I'm in a random parking lot Anyway, I'm gonna show you the, some of the exteriors of this car. As you can see, look at the aggressive lines. Just look at the lines of this car. That has, that is the nail in the coffin for me to buy this car. Is it the best looking generation Camaro ever made in regards to modern Camaros? I think so. It's not the ZL11 LE, I'm just talking about the generation. Just look at those lines absolutely phenomenal phenomenal and you've got the ORS package with the wheels and whatnot it just looks aggressive so the fifth thing I love about this car has to be the Apple CarPlay or entertainment system whatever you want to call it as you can see it's on the screen here just it has a bunch of different menus on star audio settings whatever all you have to have is an Apple product like this, an Apple cable, and you connect it to either USB port in here. It also has an auxiliary cord. 
and then you go into the screen right here click phone and then it comes up a menu that's your call history whoever's hands free and it gives you this option spotify maps messages podcasts audiobooks you name it this is phenomenal i've never had anything like this and it is so user friendly and just so accessible when you're driving i don't want to be on my phone clicking through spotify distract myself it's just bam instant 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 and it is so helpful when you're on the road you don't have to have your iphone up here being worried like you're distracted it's just it's really user friendly and that has to be uh, one of my most favorite things about this car. and on the note of good things about this car so as you can see it has two usb ports one auxiliary cord a cigarette charger here and also a wireless charger in the back i've never seen this in the car i don't know how to use it but how fantastic is that a, a camaro a camaro has a wireless phone charger i don't think bmws even have that apart from maybe the 7 series so that is like so you can have three phones charging one playing mute actually that's four phones charging two usb one cigarette and then one wireless how amazing is that oh i look like an alien right now anyway the sixth thing i love about this car has to be the air conditioning unit right here okay it looks normal look but you to close the vents it's not an up or down thing you look you twist it and it closes it, it reminds me of an airplane and then see the way it's low right here if you want to turn the temperature up you twist this just listen how satisfying it's so satisfying to do i believe older muscle cars had this and i'm so happy they brought it back it is just it's it's so satisfying look at it it's just great and it looks aesthetically pleasing as well it's not ugly at all so that is the sixth thing the seventh thing I love about this car has to be the steering wheel itself. Now it's not real bulky and thick, maybe like a BMW steering wheel, but it just fe it feels good in my hands. I can wrap my hands around it. I feel confident, and it gives kind of a racing, kind of sporty feel. Cause look how it comes flat here at the end. It also has everything you need. You can turn up the volume up and down here, change the song or station with these two buttons right here it has a steering wheel heat warmer now i'm pretty sure this is an extra option but that heats up your hands if you're driving cold weather won't be using that much in california unless it's the morning time because it's usually hot here it has cruise control you can set the speed up or down to whatever you want you don't have to mess around with anything here it has a selection button and a hang up and call and it obviously has these I believe I don't think they're plastic now I think they might actually be plastic but they do feel like good quality so that is the seventh thing I love about this car the eight thing Chevrolet have really stepped their game up with is the dials and dash here as you can see it has analog with a digital display and it's amazing what it gives you we have a G reader we have a G reader here excuse me look at g-force reader and you can record the G's which is unbelievable it gives you obviously your speed as well as the analog it gives you fuel consumption that's normal it gives you fuel range instant fuel mpg although i find that is not accurate oil remaining and this is my favorite one it gives you a live reading of the tire pressure with this you can record lap times zero to sixty times and your g-forces and it gives you phone navigation settings but all that's boring so the ninth thing i love about this car has to be the head-up display if you're just cruising along you can have it that it's just showing you your speed but if you want to change it up a bit say you want to know what song you're listening to all you have to do is go to the side here click info it shows you what song and then say an ss or zl1 and you take it to the track you just change info again and it'll give you a g reading it'll give you an rpm reading 
and the speed reading so you don't have to look down at the dials at all all you do have to just concentrate on your lines and it'll tell you everything there which is absolutely amazing I think and if you're short or tall you can actually change the height with the far left one right here if you can see it moving up and down so that's great because some people you know are short some people are really tall and it won't suit everyone so they can change it to their needs which is absolutely fantastic and you can also change the brightness if it's too bright for you or if it's not bright enough you can change the brightness with the far right button there let me see if you can actually see all right i'm taking away the brightness see now it's almost invisible boom it's gone and then we bring it back if it's a really dark night or whatever and there it lights up that is absolutely brilliant so we are on number 10 the tenth thing I love about this car has to be the roof itself. Not only is it fantastic having a convertible, but look the roof, it goes down pretty quickly. And I, that's, look, with the Camaro logo there, I just think that's absolutely amazing. And it's also perfect for California because you have the nice weather. And I'm going to throw a clip up right now. What's not to love about that? Let's put the roof back up again. I love the Camaro logo in the middle there, if you can see it. Like that's pretty quick. It's not any. It's not any, like record breaker. But that's pretty quick. I'm just gonna add in a bonus clip because I don't know how I forgot it. But another great thing about this car is the handling it's not too aggressive but this car will stick to a road like tracks and it handles corners like a dream the chassis chevrolet are starting to perfect it because this car is handles great just look it's absolutely fantastic so there we have it guys 10 things i like about this car everyone's going to be different but these are things that stand out to me that i enjoy when whilst driving this car I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.